speaker has her son in the audience and she is here to share tonight at Ignite Denver. Please give it up to Shaughnessy Spears. I have a husband, a son, a dad, two brothers, and I work in software development. Um, I'm not counting, but that's a lot of dudes. Um, so I take my female friendships very importantly, and I'll tell you a story to, to talk about why. Um, I used to be convinced about all these lies about myself. I don't know if other women have told themselves these untruths. They get along better with guys, or girls just don't like me, or, or whatever. I don't think this way anymore, and I'll tell you why. So in 2010, I was getting married. Uh, it's a very high anxiety time for anybody, right? But it was especially anxiety inducing for me. Um, I suffer from chronic anxiety and depression. And so I was, understandably or not, um, behaving poorly, alienating my friends, um, isolating myself, um, two hours late to my own bridal shower kind of behavior, right? Um, <clears throat> but I had one close friend who, rather than uh, giving herself more distance from me, actually, um, she did the opposite. She saw what was happening, and she, one day, uh, shortly before my wedding, she took me to an abandoned lot, and she spread out a blanket, and on that blanket, she laid out a menagerie of glass and ceramic that she had bought at Goodwill and she handed me a golf club. <laughs> and then she took photos for posterity, right? Because she got it, right? She understood what I was going through. She saw me at a time when I was feeling particularly vulnerable, and she chose to stay close to me. She made herself a home in my heart. Um, and eight years later, we're still close friends, even though I'm, I'm really not close with uh, any of those girls in my bridal party anymore because of uh, how difficult that was. And in the years since, she's taught me, uh, she's taught me a great deal about friendship and how to be uh, friends with other women. The first thing uh, is to admire each other, right? Compliment each other relentlessly. I'm talking about endless amounts of praise. Have you ever heard a couple of female BFFs get in a compliment war with each other? <laughs> you look awesome. You look so hot tonight. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> and, and affirming, right? And we need that in a world that constantly tears us down. Commiseration, right? Um, we go through a lot as women in America, women in the world, lots of struggle and sometimes humiliation. And uh, commiseration, bitching about it is a time-honored tradition, right, ladies? We need that from each other. Um, and there are some things that you just can't bitch about with, with uh, uh, the men in your uh, software development consultancy. No, I mean, no offense. <laughs> Vulnerability is another one. Trusting each other, uh, apologizing for making mistakes, being humble, forgiving each other, even when they haven't asked. This was an important one. She forgave me, and I hadn't necessarily asked for it yet. Um, that was something that stuck with me for a long time. And protectiveness, right? A sense of guardianship over each other's feelings, a sense that your friend's welfare belongs to you. Jamie defended me, uh, has defended me pretty, pretty fiercely at times, um, and I'll always be grateful to her for that. Um, uh, shortly after the election, another close friend of mine held a, a women-only fundraiser at her house, a very intimate gathering, and she had us sit in a circle and talk about how we were feeling and what we were afraid of and what to do next. Um, and it felt like I was participating in something ancient, right? It, it felt like... Uh, for a second, we could transcend the uh, expectation that we compete with and undermine each other. 
It took me years to learn how, tremendous, how much tremendous power women have to uphold each other. And my hope is that it doesn't take some of you quite as long. Wow. Thank you.